Hey guys, Kyle here. I am so excited. We have a very special guest today on Kyle to You, and that is Troy Hendrickson. Troy, thank you so much for coming. I really appreciate you talking to us today. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. Of course. So you have this amazing character, Aunt Mary Pat, which we're going to get into, and everybody knows and loves Aunt Mary Pat. Uh, but who is Troy? Who was Troy? Who is Troy today? Who was Troy a year ago compared to today? Yeah. Well, Troy is very tired these days. <laughs> um, it's been incredible. Um, I've always kind of been, you know, the type of person that has been performing, and um, I've always been active as far as um, being in the arts. I, you know, from a little kid, I remember my first memory is getting a microphone for Christmas and plugging it into my parents' old stereo and singing like Patsy Cline and like, made my family watch and like sit down and stuff. So, and then I went to Cap Kelly High School, which is in Wilmington yeah. um, and middle school. And I was active in the arts. I went to college for uh, television writing. Oh, okay. And then um, I have had a drag career in Philadelphia, Wilmington for the past, I would say like three to five years. Um, and that's kind of where it all started. I started doing impersonations and characters on li live on the mic and stuff. And then, um, you know, decided to make a video and then <laughs> the rest is kind of history from there. But yeah, I mean, I, I've always been the same kind of person. I've always kind of done this. It's just, you know, this character specifically has struck a chord with people and it's, you know, the response has been incredible. Yeah. Yeah, it really has. I mean, it is unbelievable how much this has blown up and it's well-deserved and, and we'll get into that. Uh, uh, as well but so what brought the character of aunt mary pat compared to because you did uh, other characters as well correct and what brought you to create aunt mary pat well i mean i've always done impersonations so i've like i've done like live impersonations of melania trump and uh caitlin jenner and sarah huckabee sanders all these kind of polarizing figures and i've had a uh, really good response with those like on a smaller scale the Aunt Mary Pat's the first like character I brought to life um, for like video and, and, li and uh, live entertainment but it's based off my mom you know first and foremost it's uh, kind of like a parody of her um, I did it as a joke because uh, she I called her after the Super Bowl after the Eagles won she's a big fan and she just like blew my mind so I expected her to be in a bar like loud excited and uh, I call her and it's very quiet. I'm like, where are you? What's going on? She said, Hon, I'm at Moodell's buying up all the gear for tomorrow. <laughs> and I was just like, oh my God. So I put on an old wig, some, you know, some cheap makeup and I uh, made the video and I made it as a joke about her. And then the character just kind of became its own thing. And I was like, you know, where would this character do? Like, what would her family dynamic be? And all the details kind of came at later. The initial idea was just like making fun of my mom. And then it kind of like grew into this fully formed, you know, character that's like taken over. Now, uh, the husband has an Instagram. The daughter has an Instagram. Like, people are so like these characters that I've created, like people are just so they want to know more. They want to know all the details. They want to meet them. And it's just like it's it's incredible. Yeah, and, and you have like a whole like connected universe. It's like the Marvel universe, but but Troy's Aunt Mary Pat universe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I'm working with some very like talented friends and you know, they're just totally on board. They love the idea and they're kind of rolling with it. And uh, specifically like the girl I found to play Kelly. Um, she's a very talented singer in Philadelphia and just has an amazing personality. And we clicked when we met and um, you know, she's going to start doing some side videos of like, the other side. Cause I always talk, you know, I talk crap about Kelly as being the asshole daughter, <laughs> daughter. And uh, she's going to kind of do like, well, that's not the truth. You know what I mean? Like how kids do. So right. uh, it's going to be exciting. Like I, it is kind of like the Marvel universe, but the Delco universe, right. you know, like a smaller scale. <laughs> so you're going to get like the different sides of the character. Cause like, Obviously, Aunt Mary Pat has the main, you know, I tell my side of the story, but what's really happening on the <laughs> downtime? So I think it'll be exciting. Like, I'm I'm very excited about the future of not only the character, but just like what I'm doing and, and being active because right now it's like it's really hectic. But, you know, once we get time to kind of sit down and, you know, really hone in on like I have so many ideas like, I can't wait to share with people. So it's going to be you know exciting time hopefully as long as people are interested in the character <laughs> yeah and i mean i don't see this going away anytime soon i mean it's so entertaining and i'm loving the fact that this universe is expanding i mean like it just it makes it all as real as it can be you know what i mean oh for sure like people go out looking for this character and like you know people message me all the time they're like hey can you call i'm like in my head thinking like 
I don't live my life as right. a Mary Beth. You know, I do do other things too. Right. But uh, it's exciting that people like, take it so seriously and they, they love this character that I, I've kind of like embodied. So, I mean, that that to me is like the response has been incredible. So like I appreciate that so much. Um, and the fact that like these side characters are like, hey, I went to Acme today and I didn't see Jim de Blasio. Where was he at? And like, you know, just all these kind of like, you know, little side things. It, it's really exciting. Like the people, you know, take it, you know, they have such pride in this character, you know? Absolutely. And, and as I said, it is so well deserved. I mean, you guys know it is an absolutely brilliant character. And what I am curious about is how did your life change? Because this happened Pretty quickly. I mean, I, I know I, I follow all the videos, so I, I understand in, from my perspective, like how it grew over these videos. But for you on your side, how did it, you know, I mean, you went from from working somewhere else to like this character has become so big that you need to focus on that and quit your job. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, I mean, I obviously I was working. I was bartending and I was working um, full time for the state of Delaware. So, like, my life was very <laughs> straight laced and, you know, kind of boring. And I was always I've always been a kind of artistic person. And I just was so stifled by these jobs that I've had. So this was really a blessing. Honestly, um, I've always done drag and that was kind of like my outlet for my creativity and like. I've, I'm known on a smaller scale in Philadelphia. Like I can walk down like, into most of the, the bars and they're like, oh, hey, Miss Troy, like stuff like that. But I've never expected this in the entire world because now it's like I'm going to the store and people are like, oh, my God. Right. And they're sneaking pictures of me and stuff like that. Like, oh, he buys toilet paper, too. Like, you know what I mean? It's just like um, – but, yeah, like I, I never expected this. And once, like I would say probably around April, I had to sit down and have a conversation with my family and just be like, this is – it's getting bigger than I can handle. So I have to make some changes in my life. And I've been so blessed that people have been on board that I'm able to, you know, support myself and my family with this, doing something I love to do. And the response has been incredible. Like, um, yeah, I don't, I take, I take every uh, moment I feel blessed. And, you know, it started with um, one event and we did a paint night in Delaware city. One of my good friends, Megan, she owns Maisie's market and she kind of like, let's do a partnership together. It sold out, I think in a day. And then, um, they added a second date. We did a bar event and Della Paula's in, um, Ridley park. That was like an insane response. I had to close the doors because the line was out the door. Wow. And like, <clears throat> I was like, wow, this is incredible. And like, you know what I mean? It just got so exciting. And now my calendar is literally like, I don't have a free date until <laughs> September, I think, but even those are going quick. But like I said, every day is a new opportunity to kind of reach somebody and touch somebody. And like, there's still people who are discovering this character, which is exciting for me because, you know, I just like, you expect when you do something like kind of fun, it could, it'll die down and, you know, it, it's gonna be the end. Like, I've had a slower event. I'm like, ugh, they got sick of it. It's done. <laughs> and then the next day, it's like, we were at a place that had a capacity for like 46 people and they were like, a hundred people packed. Wow. They're like we only had like 15 people on a Wednesday and you brought, you know, wow. it to the brim. They had to like shut the doors and not let anyone else in. So like, you never know what's going to happen, but I always try to put my best foot forward and just really like, um, not just like give people what they want, but you know, what I feel like is natural for this character. Mm -hmm. And people kind of just like, I mean, the first, like I said, the response has been incredible. I can't, I can't complain about anything. Yeah. I mean here where we're, Troy is getting ready to perform tonight and they actually had to add a second date because the first one sold out. Yeah. So, I mean, it's pretty incredible. Yeah. I mean like this character is obviously like I made it a Delco character cause it just felt natural. And so I was like, oh, okay, in that area people are going to find it, but now it's expanded to Wilmington. Um, you know, I've had some dates, uh, in Wildwood that are coming up. Um, some dates like in, in lower Delaware now, like we're expanding and it's like, it's like, wow, oh my God, that's awesome. Um, you know, I, I can't even imagine, like, I saw people texting me, like, my phone's probably blowing up right now. Like, people are checking in, taking pictures, and I people are asking me, like, can you get me in? Can you get me in tonight? We're here. We want to get in. And I'm like, you know, they're at capacity. I don't know what else to do. But, like I said, like, it's so exciting for me. And, like, when I go out there, and, and I'm in character, and I stay in character the entire time, but, like, at some moments I had to get emotional because I'm like, this is so incredible. Like, doing what you love to do and having people appreciate it. There's not a better feeling in the world, you know? And, and I truly believe that, you know, it happens, you know, when you put good out there, good comes back to you. And, you know, we've, we've met a few times and spoken through email and, and on Facebook and social media and stuff. And you seem 
such a genuinely good person. Like, you know, the, the, your fan interaction and you know i saw you with people uh at one of the events i mean people were asking like oh you know uh can you call my mom and blah 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 and you're facetiming people's moms and i I mean and they those people are like so happy that you're doing this and you like you you just do i mean it's just so you're just such a genuinely good person and i think it couldn't have happened to a better person so Yeah, of course. I mean, my parents were great, and they, you know, I owe it all to them. They raised me with the mentality that you treat others the way you want to be treated, and um, you know, you do what you can if you have it. You help people, and they've always done that. And so that's just what you know I grew up with. And then I think about like you know how you know it's just human interaction. I'm not better than anyone else. People are excited to see this character, but I know how it feels when you see someone like you get entertained by. You want to. Just have a moment, you know what I mean? Just, you know, the people that say thank you and like, thank you for coming. Like, I'm just as grateful as you are, you know what I mean? Um, it's just been, you know, so, so good. I have to, you know, just thank my family for really like instilling that in me very young because it, it really makes a world of difference, I think. And, and speaking of family, you actually uh, are a family man yourself. You have uh, children and a partner. And, and so how does that fit all, like, are they like, Oh my God, dad, dad is like this, you know, (laughs) this like crazy person. Everybody knows, you know, crazy, like character. Everybody knows like it's, what is that like for you? The kids are kind of just like, Oh, here he goes again. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, they, they get it for the most part. Bella's five and Liam is 12. Um, so Liam hears people at school, like talking about it, like their parents know or the teachers know. And then, uh, Bella's teacher actually was like, I know who you are. Can we get a picture real quick? I'm like, I see you every day. You know what I mean? Um, but it's been incredible. And like Bella goes, do you know that you're Aunt Mary Pat? And I'm like, yes, Bella, I know. I'm <laughs> you know, I but a yeah, I, I guess. Um, but yeah, I mean, they're, they're cool with it. Danny works very hard. He designs all the merchandise. Um, he's kind of like my right hand man. He's mm-hmm. more of like the, I want to do everything. And he's like, we have to stay on schedule. We have to do this. We have to do that. Um, my aunt Trina has been incredible too. She's kind of like my pseudo manager until we find like, uh, (laughs) you know, something, uh, you know, more sensible, but she is like time management to a T. She is always driving us everywhere. Um, so I can't like do it without family. And, uh, like I said, the kids, they just think it's like, uh, dad's, dad's playing dress up again. (laughs) But uh, they love it. I mean, they really enjoy it, and they think it's 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 funny. So I mean, they're they're all on board. I can't complain about that. <laughs> well, and I've got to say, I come from a music background, and every you know, I've it's it's interesting for me that the character has draws a lot of parallels to how bands like grow into national you know acts yeah. because it's like you know you started like hyper local and then you're expanding and then you're expanding the types of events that you're doing and the types of products that you have you have a song that uh i think our next guest will probably be talking about and uh it's it's pretty incredible incredible to see this like you know kind of spreading and growing and and uh i'm really excited and so happy for you for all your successes thank you i I appreciate that yeah like these opportunities keep coming up i had a you know a guy his name is kenny he approached me he's like have you ever thought about doing a song and i was like no but i love music i'm not a good singer at all but like i just enjoy doing music and he presented me with a demo and we kind of like you know he's got my catchphrases to write this song and uh yeah it's like and then the response was awesome to that too so like all these opportunities that are coming up, I'm just embracing them. Um, yeah, it's just been like, it's been so cool. I like, I have no complaints. Like I'm, I'm just enjoying the ride. Like it's, it's been, it's been wonderful, truly. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time, Troy. I really appreciate it. We have to make time for another guest that we have coming in a few minutes. I'm not really sure it's a surprise, but, uh, but thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. And, uh, I look forward to doing more and, uh, I look forward to seeing your next guest, whoever that may be. Awesome. Stay tuned to find out, guys. <laughs> okay, guys. I am here with our very, very, very special guest, Aunt Mary Pat. Oh, hey, I am so excited to have you here, Aunt Mary Pat. You have no idea. Hold on. I'm always here for a good time. You name me. Yeah, it is. And it's always a good time with you. So I have a couple of questions. I know you have a show in a few minutes. And I'm really excited to see what. Uh, you, you have blown up and you are the queen of Delco now. So h- how does that make you feel? 
well, hon, I can't go uh, down the street to a uh, little corner store and grab bread no more because all the people bombard me. Hey, Mary Pat, Mary Pat, I'll sign this, sign that. Hon, where were you last week at the freaking Acme and not sign your credit card slips? Come on now. <laughs> I'm just a simple Delco girl living in this world. I haven't changed one bit. What? Your family, you, you, you talk so lovingly about them, them. except your daughter. But, um, but what, what do they think about all your fame? Well, Larry don't care. He don't give two shits neither way. You know, he's just doing his own thing. And Paulie loves it. You know, he's always been a good boy. And his uh, uh, girlfriend, Jessica, they're expecting a baby. So uh, I'm going to be tied up in the fall come. But my daughter, Kelly, that friggin' asshole, try to use my name to get shit. I'm like, don't <laughs> don't bring me down to the mud. Uh, friggin' Hoagie Fest today. She was down there going, hey, you know who my mom is? Mary Pat, give me uh, three hoagies on the side for free. No charge. I said, what on is my name to do that scam shit? I'm tired of it. You know, you got all those family members come out of the friggin' woodwork when you don't even know them anymore. What, uh, what about Mr. De Blasio? I'm, I'm really curious how, how he feels about all this. <laughs> He's a friggin' asshole, hon. He's always saying, hey, Mary Pat, you can't get off early on account of I need you in the deli department, hon. You can't go to that show. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to retire, and as soon as I do, it's going to be the happiest day of my life. He's a friggin' ass. <laughs> and... You're, so now you're doing shows. I mean, you, you have literally blown up. I'm about to see you perform in a few minutes. I'm really excited about that. Are, are you doing a tour? What's going on? Yes. Yeah, so we're, we're <coughs> pardon the frig out of me. We're finishing up the Delco and Moore tour where it basically I'm the friggin' uh, Dalai Lama Delco. I just go around and say good shit to the people. I'm having a good time. And then on uh, July 3rd, we start the Down Ashore and Moore tour. Okay. So going all down ashore all these all over these places and uh yeah we're gonna keep the good times going on you know just uh keep riding it out people want to see me for some reason and uh i'm happy to deliver i got a song coming out called doing good i i this is a bop this is a summer bop it is it's all on the youtubes is now but it come out on the streaming services next friday july 6th so make sure you check it out and pick it up all the kids say oh ariana grandy so scared of you ain't married back because you got the good song in the summer well I don't know. I'm enjoying myself. <laughs> and uh, is there going to be a video? There needs to be a video for the song. You better stay tuned. Oh, okay. I cannot wait to see if we get a video on that. So a couple more questions, and then I know you, you got to go perform. Uh, number one, have you ever thought about taking the whole family on the road? Uh, it, it crossed my mind, but then I realized I hate my family, and I don't want them anywhere near me in close proximities. <laughs> But uh, who knows? We might bring him out. I brought uh, my husband, Lara, comes to some events when he can. And my cousin, Cheyenne, comes with me a few times. But, uh, you know, she's a big alcoholic, so I can't trust her. So you understand. Yeah, of course. Uh, downstairs, I know you haven't been down there yet. You've been preparing for your show. But it is a madhouse. There are people. The merch booth is insane. People. I mean, there's all kinds of merch that people are getting. It's crazy. Did you ever expect this? No, who wants my ugly mug on a freaking t-shirt? I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, it's exciting. I'm, uh, you know, going around, doing what I love to do, talking to people. I run my gab. You know, my mama Margaret said, that girl got the gift of gab. She runs that freaking mouth all the goddamn time. But um, at least I'm putting it to good use these days. Absolutely. And then where can we find you? I mean, you uh, are everywhere. But where specifically, if for some reason, somebody outside of Delco has not heard of you, where can they find you? Uh, check me out on the Facebooks, uh, your Aunt Mary Pat's on there, uh, and Instagrams, okay. at Aunt Mary Pat, uh, YouTubes is, okay. I got my own channel on there, people watches it, and uh, I'm all over, check my tour schedule, you'll find me in a city near you, uh, real soon, doing some dumb shit, we use people, I'm probably drinking too much, getting freaked up, but you know what, we only live one son. <laughs> exactly. Aunt Mary Pat, can you just say, what should they do after they watch this video? You should grab yourself a smoke and a Coke and then go take a shot of Fireball and relax. And uh, make sure you say thank you because someone's doing a good job for you, I bet, somewhere. So appreciate that person for who they are. And then when they do that, can they can they then make time to like and subscribe us? Oh, yeah. Make sure you like and subscribe if you like this shit because I bet it's pretty damn good. I bet you're having a good time. And then, uh, you know what? Share the video, too. How about that? Aunt Mary Pat, it is... It is one of my dreams come true to have you on the show. I am so, so honored that you came. Thank you. I'll give you a big hug. Have a great show. We'll see you soon, guys. Follow Aunt, Ma Aunt Mary Pat.